Hey, welcome to week ten, week nine and ten, and going into week eleven um, of educating Elvis. And this one, I want it to be like a like a retrospective or a roundup of you know what these first ten weeks is like. This is a really really crucial period. Um, get these bits, get this section right first time, and then you're um, you know you kind of cook it on gas really. Um, so he's asleep. <laughs> because um, we've just got back from our morning 25 minute uh, walk around the block um, and I've got my little list of things that I want to uh, that I want to cover stuff that I think I've done well stuff that I think I haven't done so well um, and here we go so toilet training first thing on the list um, I had unrealistic expectations I think because I was putting so much effort into it and I was really like determined that he was going to be toilet trained quickly um, I just expected a bit too much of him. Um, and he did toilet train, but it took about oh, six weeks. Um, and I just wanted it to happen quicker than that. And uh, that's my fault. My expectations were wrong. And, um, you know, I set myself up for stress there. Um, so, yeah, just chill out with that. Um, it will come. Um, just keep making sure they get outside and, and all the rest of it and, and you'll be there. Um yeah, so, you know, like, realistic expectations. Don't stress yourself out over stuff that you can't control. Um, yeah, so that was my fault. Um, uh, Rowan, my son, five months, uh, five, he's not five months old, he's five years old. Um, dealing with him and, and Elvis has all been about Rowan. It's all been about keeping, um, keeping Rowan calm and not letting him go crazy and get super excited all the time and, um, and if, as long as we can keep Rowan calm, the dog stays calm. Trying to keep Elvis calm if Rowan's going crazy, it, it is a total lost cause. Um, so, yeah, that's my number one tip for kids. Let's concentrate on the kids. Keep it calm. It's worked really well with Elvis. Elvis is kind of naturally chilling out a little bit now as he's getting a bit older. So um, he's less and less excited every time he sees Rowan. And, and um, Rowan's learning to be less and less excited. So, yeah. That's going well, but you know, I've covered in this video diary when I have got that wrong. Um, I'm thankful it's only been once or twice, you know, and I can see how if I carried on getting that wrong, you know, you could end up in a real situation where you had a dog and a child that really were at odds with each other. Well, not necessarily at odds, the dog would be having a great time, but um, you could have a you know, a kid that ended up quite scared and you could have a lot of nipping and problems like that. So, um, yeah, concentrate on the kids. So in terms of his training, I've really concentrated on, or mainly concentrated on recall because I just wanted to make sure that he was going to come back to me. And that's been the main focus of my training with him. You know, I didn't want to be the person in the park whose dog would just disappear and I couldn't get them back. Um, so that's all I've really done. Um, so I started with the quartering, did lots of that. I was doing that every day for 10 or 15 minutes um, for the first couple of weeks. Um, and that's had a huge benefit, you know, I can take him out, I can let him off a lead and I don't really have to pay that much attention. I know he's going to be within that kind of 20 metre circle of me. Um, and he does, he does stay within that 20 metre circle of me. Um, I am aware that I have the teenagers coming and he's going to get bolder and he's going to get braver. And I'm starting to see a little bit of that already. So, you know, I need to be on my guard. But if I keep up with this. You know, I, I don't see why he wouldn't, um, why that would change. Um, so, yeah, so that's been it, you know, starting with that steady exercise in the in the garden and, you know, always recalling him in the house, always following through on commands. Um, has been my main thing. And his recall is, I would say, 99% solid. I'm not going to say 100% because he's four months old, but, you know, like 99% solid, um, his recall is. And socialising him with other dogs because... Um, you know, getting him out there, getting him meeting dogs and not being scared and get, making sure that his initial um, meetings with dogs were positive ones. And I think you can definitely take control of that in the very first months by just making sure that you make the effort to find dogs that are sociable. You know, which I had a couple of friends, who, dogs I know are sociable and I got him introduced to them first. So their initial meetings with dogs are positive. Um, so, yeah, take control of that. Find people that have got friendly dogs. Um, you know, keep an eye on the dogs in the park. Don't let them go and see the dogs that you know aren't friendly. Um, you know, and, and make sure they're and, and keep up with that. And if anything, Elvis is a little bit over sociable. 
um, he really doesn't take no for an answer. So, if, example, we met a couple of ter um, uh, bulldog type dogs this morning, and um, one of them just uh, just gave him a telling. It was just like, "Back off, puppy! You're annoying me. Get out of my face!" And he just he just went back for more. He doesn't. Um, <laughs> he's too friendly so i that's something i need to be aware of and you're i think you have your own you know whatever your dog's like um you know have your own uh you have your own eye are they a bit nervous are they a bit forward like him um you know keep an eye on that and then the other thing has been just you know, like working with what drives him as a as a dog and it's food like he just he would eat all day you could you could line ten bowls of food up with him and he would stuff himself until he was sick, throw it up and then eat the sick. Um, like he's just hugely food driven. Um and he will do you know, like he'll recall away from a pack of ten playing dogs for a, a tiny bit of kibble. He's like <laughs> that's just what drives him, you know. Like selfishly I'd have rather he was play driven because I'd would have loved to have just had a ball and, you know, like I've not have to felt like I was treating him all the time, but you know it works and why fight what works at the end of the day um so yeah so that's that's been it really i think the constant the the, the focus of these first this time has just been getting to know him you know making sure that he knows that i am the boss um you know there's no um there's no there's no question if i ask him to do something he does it um and i do follow through on everything and you know that makes a difference that when i'm out there and i sit him right here Pip pip on the on the whistle as I've been you know I've added the whistle command in then you know he's back and he is back like I'm going to say ninety nine percent not hundred because he's four months old and I can't I'd, I would be foolish to say you know it was a hundred percent at this stage but yeah ninety nine percent of the time you know he is back so yeah like get to know them what drives them and just concentrate really hard on making sure that in the first kind of 10 11 weeks they're really they get lots of positive experiences with other dogs and people um and recall 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 because if your dog comes back you can let them off a lead and that you know that, that's that's what you need really uh, for a, a family a family pet if you want to call them a family pet as long as their recall's good you're there so what do i need to um what do i need to work on going forward i want to really start um working on his on his heel work now um He's not bad on the lead because you know we have this relationship where he knows I'm I'm the boss and I you know I say don't I don't ever let him pull um apart from when he gets you know a bit excited um but now I'd like to, I think it's a bit unfair of me to expect him to you know for me to have to constantly say to him right don't get in front of me don't get in front of me because I haven't really um set that out for him yet I haven't taught him to walk to heel yet so it's for me to expect him to is unfair. So that's my next job, really, in carrying this video diary forward. That's going to be the next thing. Um, I'm also aware I've got a teenager coming. You know, I've got another few months of grace yet, but I've got teenagers coming and, and keeping on top of the training. Um, up, you know, up up until that point is going to be, um, you know, massively important. Just because he is recalling really well doesn't mean I have, I'd stop training that recall. Um, because he's already getting bolder. He's already showing that like thoughts of like maybe i will maybe i won't um so uh yeah keeping on top of all that stuff but that's it i think you know like it hasn't been as you know i've had to put the work in i have had to put the work in um and i think i'm blessed with a, a very um easy going dog um you know he, he's he's willing he's very willing to work for me which um you know obviously makes life a lot easier but um i get constant compliments on you know in the part of him wow how does he he well trained look at that like i walked past a couple the other day and oh, that's impressive um you know and i think i haven't done there's been no um I've, there's been no magic i'm not a dog trainer um i've just literally followed you know the things that i've been told to do um Yes, I'm one half of a dog training business, but I'm not on the phone to Alan every 10 minutes. Help me, help me, help me. Um, I've asked him the odd question here or there, but no more than anybody else wouldn't, you know, have access if they were a member of Clan Dog or, um, you know, even if they just asked, dropped a message on the Facebook group and stuff, th those questions would be answered. Um, I've just followed the principles and just just made sure that he knows that I'm the boss. Um, 
followed through on the commands, you know, and put the time in, which has been, I would say, maybe an hour a day, um, spread out into little chunks to start with. And now I just reinforce it in the on a, on our walks, on our kind of we walks twenty five minutes a day, um, and I just make sure I do a couple of little things during that twenty five minutes, and make sure that when when he's in the house, I follow through. Um, if I call him from one room to the other and doesn't come, you know, he's got to do it. You can't ignore that stuff. Um, and that's it. So it hasn't, you know, like it's not... To say it's not hard is, 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 is a bit unfair, but it's not um, it's simple. Things that you need to do are really simple. And if you get them right straight away, then you will have a dog that recalls 99.9% .9 of the time. It's not jinx myself. Um... And that is well behaved and is calm and it's sociable with other dogs. And yes, he's a bit over sociable, but that's his personality. Um, and I think he will calm down a little bit with age. Um, so, yeah, I think that's 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 just what I wanted to get across in this kind of like 10 week retrospective as we're through that kind of crucial period now. And um, the work doesn't stop. We've still got to carry on with the training. But, um, you know, it's it's simple and you can do it just by building it into kind of your everyday life. You don't have to make a big thing of it. Um, you know, manage your own expectations. Be calm, be cool, be chilled out about it. Um, don't get cross when it doesn't happen because sometimes it doesn't, you know. He's done it to me on during this video diary. I've said, I'm going to show you what I'm doing and then he's just not done it. Um, and that happens. It doesn't mean he's not, never going to do it again. Um, yeah, just to just like chill and calm. Um, yeah, just like, it's like Elvis, eh? <laughs> just chill out. Yeah, and that's it. I hope this, these, this kind of series of, um, puppy video diaries has been helpful to people. I know the feedback is that it has been, and, um, I hope my, my boring voice isn't, um, is it, you don't have to watch it anymore. Um, I am going to carry on. They're not going to be weekly. They'll just be episodes as and when I do something new with him. But, um, you know, if do carry on following this video diary and we'll see how I go. Um, I could be sat here in, you know, three or four months time with the teenagers, like tearing my hair out going, oh, everything I've done is wrong. But, um, I hope not. So, you know, thanks for your time. Um, if you're watching this as part of the puppyhood course, then, um, any questions just get, you know, just get to us, um, and do ask. Otherwise, if you're just watching this and you're not part of the puppyhood course and you've got a puppy, then um, get signed up. Because, uh, yeah, everything that I've done with him is in there. Um, you know, and he's super awesome. He's the best dog in the world. Thanks, guys. <laughs>